In this video, we will see how we can stitch together 155 images with the 70mm lens from the Mavic 4 Pro. It can also be the Mavic 3 Pro or the Air 3S. All the cameras with the 70mm lenses where, where we can do panoramas with the DJI app. And we will also see how we can fix the Zenit. Even with plus 70 degree pitch angle from the Mavic 4 Pro, we have still some hole in the Zenit. But I will show you how we can fix that with Affinity Photo. And we will also see how we can use the XML Creator to get the best stitching results. The XML Creator helps us to get the best stitching results. I've implemented from the Phantom 3 Pro down to the Mavic 4 Pro with the 70mm lens. The most important function today is the Create XML from EXIF. So you first copy your image files from the aircraft after the panel shooting into a folder and you do not change these images. So we choose this folder. We have choose the Mavic 4 Pro 28mm shooting and we can see that the pitch goes up to plus 70 degrees. Now we have here the XML file and this XML file helps us to get the best stitching if we have for example a blue sky or if we have a lot of water. So it says the stitching program which image has to stitch together with another one. Now actually here we have about 43 images. Now let's have a look on the 70mm lens. Also the 70mm lens goes up to plus 70 degree pitch angle, but we still have a small zone from the Zenit where we have no images. And we have 155 images. And here is it's very important if you use the 70mm lens that you have an XML file to get the best results for the stitching. We have several 70mm lenses. We have the Air 3S for example here, but we have also the Mavic 3 Pro with the 70mm. So all these aircrafts are supported from the new XML creator. Now let's compare it to a Phantom 3 Pro. I just will simulate with 30% overlap the best results with HDR Pano 3D. And we can see we have 16 images but we have here a lot of Zenit where we have no images. Let's see the Mavic 3 Pro. The Mavic 3, go, 3 Pro goes up to 60 degree pitch angle. So we have a full uh, panorama. We have here just a very small zone where we have nothing into the Zenit. We can do that with an additional Zenit shot or we can fix that later into the programs like Affinity Photo or Photoshop. The XML Creator also calculates the image size. Let's go back to the 70mm shooting. So we get about 15 per 25,000 pixels for this shooting. And if we take the standard 28mm, we get about 32,000 pixels per 16,000 pixels. Now let's see how we use this XML file. So first we load the images. I take the 70mm shooting with 155 images. I only load these images. I do not calculate anything with them. Now I go to File, Import, Paper Wizard. We have to choose the right folder, this one. And now we start to calculate the images. Not before. So we have first to load the XML file. Now we can see that we have our 155 images into the right position. It will be most difficult if you don't use an XML file with 155 images. Enough overlap on the Zenit, but we will fix that later on into Affinity Photo. Now let's see the workflow in Autopano Giga. We first select the XML file. Then I select the images. And now we can see before the program stitches the images together, 
we have all the yaw and pitch position from the images. So it's much more easier for the stitching program to get the right calculation. And here we can see the final result. The Aramis is 2.80h. We have only a small problem between image 59 and 60. Typical uh, blue sky. If you have more blue sky, you will get more problems. But with the XML file, there is no problem to stitch them together. Now I will show you how we fix the Zenith. We can see here we have an image from 50,000 to 25,000 pixels with the FC9284. It's a 70 millimeter lens from the Mavic 4 Pro. And now we go into the live projection. So we are into the live projection. So here we can see the quality of the whole image. We can also zoom in, zoom out to see the quality of the image. And what we can see here, we have no overlap into the Zenit. And I will show you how we can fix that. Now, actually, we are in the projection mode. And if I start here to edit the image, it will change to edit mode. So we can no longer move the image. But that's not a problem as we will fix this Zenit hole. So I select the Zenit. And then I will fill this with, with uh, artificial intelligence. So we go on, on filling, in painting, and now it calculates this hole. Now we can see the result. So it's quite amazing. We have nothing to correct. And now we go back to projection mode. So now we are back into the projection mode. We can move our panorama and we can see all the details. So here we have the 70 millimeter lens from the Mavic 4 Pro. And we can see it's quite an amazing result. You cannot do that in Photoshop. Photoshop cancelled the 3D program. But with Affinity Photo you can do that without any problem, even with a huge size from the image. We can also zoom in to get closer to see the result of the 70mm lens. So that's quite an amazing result. You can download the XML Creator on my homepage. I put the link in the description. And I add also two links with the full size panoramas where you can see all the details. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.